Hello nurse, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we will study about palindromic sequence. The palindromic word is made up of two words, palin which means back again and drum which means to run. If together you say it means to run back again. So the palindromic sequences, they are actually the sequence of nucleotides occurs when the complementary strands of DNA read the same in both directions. It means if you are running in this way or you are reading the sequence in this way, you will run back the same way if you are going in the reverse section. It means that the sequence reading here and the sequence reading from here, they are the same. If you read it from the 5 prime end or you read it from the 3 prime end. For example, here I have a sequence which is from 5 prime to 3 prime, which is G, A, A, T, T, C. So when I am reading in this direction, it is like this. Okay. Now, if I read it from this direction or the reverse direction, you can see G, G, A, 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 T, 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 C, C. So it means if you read it from this direction or you read it from this direction, they have the same sequence or you can see that you are running back again. That is why we are calling these sequences the palindromic sequences. The palindromic sequences, they play a very important role in the cells. First of all, many restriction endonucleases or restriction enzymes, they recognize specific palindromic sequence and cut them. We use this ability of restriction endonucleases in the cloning of particular gene. So for example, I have an enzyme known as ECOR1. This ECOR1 is actually a restriction enzyme. This enzyme recognizes a sequence of G A A T T C. So you can see if you are reading from here or you are reading from here, they both have the same sequence. Okay, G A A T T C, G A A T T C. So what this equal one is going to do is going to recognize this sequence and then it is going to cut the sequence at this point from here and from here so we can see that here it has excised and here so this is how restriction endonucleases are recognizing and then cutting the double stranded dna from this position and from this position similarly another restriction endonuclease is bam h1 this bam h1 is going to recognize the sequence gga tcc from this side if you read Again, GGA, TCC, if you read it from the other stand. It is going to cut the sequence here and here. You can see this one like this. So the restriction endonucleases, they are recognizing the palindromic sequence from the upper DNA segment as well as from the lower DNA segment and then they are cutting it. Now we have this cut DNA and we can use these sequences or this cutted DNA for the cloning purpose. Another benefit of palindromic sequences is that palindromic sequences they make hairpin structure. Now what hairpin structure is, here you can see that these are the palindromic sequences of the DNA. Now when the DNA is transcribed, it is going to form an mRNA. In the mRNA, these palindromic sequences, because they have the ability to form bond with each other, they are going to make the bond. And when they are going to make the bond, you can see that this sequence here is going to form a circle. And this part and this part, they both are going to form bond. And because of this, we are going to say that this is a hairpin structure because it looks like a hairpin. And because of this hairpin folding or hairpin structure formation, it is going to help this messenger RNA in its proper folding as well as it is going to protect its structural stability because we know that the messenger RNA is going to travel from the nucleus 
to the cytoplasm so during this journey these hairpins they are going to protect the messenger rna another uh, function played by the palindromic sequence is actually in the cancer cells the cancer cells they exhibit massive genomic rearrangement genomic rearrangement means that genes they are rearranged they may be amplified it means that one gene has been amplified and there are two numbers of that particular gene or they are translocated for example the gene was present at number one now it is present at number three because it has translocated to here or it may be deletion or the number one gene is deleted so because of this rearrangement the cancers there takes place and the studies have shown that this rearrangement may be associated with the presence of palindromic sequences which suggests that there is a possible correlation between the palindrome and the gene rearrangement and in turn the cancer. So this is the palindromic sequence. If you still have any question related to this topic you can ask me in the comment section. I will see you in the next video.